Hi guys, welcome to today's news. Peter Obi's identity has been duplicated. Peter Obi, the Labour Party nominee for the president in the most recent general election, has talked about his encounter with British immigration officials a few weeks ago. Recall that the former governor of Anambra State was purportedly held for several hours during the Easter holiday. However, Mr. Peter will be dispelled all the rumors about his arrest in the exclusive interview with Arise News on Monday. He claims that he was never detained and he also stated that he had only been interrogated for a very brief period of time. He added that he has been warned to exercise caution because his identity has been stolen. He said the only immigration procedure I had to go through took around 20 minutes. The United States immigration authorities want me to exercise caution because my identity has been stolen. The British government has provided me with a written paper. People spoke in variety of ways. Some claim that I am not paying taxes, while others claim that I am being arrested. I have lived in Britain for a while, and during that time, there has never been a situation where, when I was questioned. During the interview, which also watched by newspapers, on his recent arrest in London, Peter Obi explained that he was only stopped for a routine immigration check. I was stopped for a routine immigration check, which didn't last more than 20 minutes, and I was never arrested, the former governor clarified. Peter Gregory Obi, who is a Nigerian businessman and a politician who served as governor of Anambra State from March to November 2006, February to May 2007, and June 2007 to March 2014, in May 2022, he became the Labour Party candidate for President of Nigeria in the 2023 general election after defecting from the People's Democratic Party. Peter Obi graduated from the University of Nigeria in 1984 and afterwards he entered business and banking, eventually holding several executive positions in several banks. Peter Obi contested for the governor in 2003 as a member of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, but Chris Ngigi was declared the winner of the election. In 2006, the election of Chris Ngige was nullified and Peter Obi was declared as the winner of the 2003 election as in, and in assumed office in March 2006. Shortly, he was impeached in November the same year by the Anambra State House of Assembly, led by Honorable Mike Balongwu. However, his impeachment was overturned and he returned to office in February 2007. Peter Obi was removed after the 2007 Anambra State gubernatorial election but the judiciary again intervened by ruling that it should be allowed to complete a, four, a full four-year term. In 2010, he was re-elected to a second term. After leaving office in 2014, Peter Obi decamped to the People's Democratic Party. In 2019, he was selected as the PDP vice presidential nominee in the presidential election running alongside Atiku Abubakar. But he lost the ticket to incumbent president Mamadou Bari and vice president Yemi Osibaju. In 2022, Obi ran for president himself, first in the PDP until defected to the Labour Party in May 2022 to obtain its nomination. Peter Obi's presidential campaign has been described as the popular populist and has been noted for its support among many young Nigerians who have been nicknamed as obedient. In the matter of national security, Peter Obi has publicly demanded that the federal government name individuals responsible for financial terrorism and oil theft in Nigeria. In 2020, Obi expressed support for the NSA social movement against police brutality. Peter Obi also stated that he believes that women are less prone to the corruption in public office than men and stated that his gubernatorial staff were predominantly women. Peter Obi has said that he wants to do away with the office of the First Lady, stating that it is not his wife that was voted in but himself. The Ministry of Women Affairs was enough to take care of good women. In commemoration of International African Women's Day, Obi stated that in Nigeria we, advoc we advocate continually greater women participation in leadership, nation, nation building and secure society which begins with unfettered social inclusion, gender mainstreaming, and empowerment. 
Peter Hobi, who was a businessman before he ventured into policies. He had he held leadership position in some private establishments, and some of the companies he served include the Next International Nigerian Limited. He was the chairman and director of Guardian Express Mortgage Bank Limited, Guardian Express Bank PLC, Future View Security Limited, Paymaster Nigerian Limited, Champs Nigerian Limited, Data Corps Limited, and Card Limited. He was the youngest chairman of Fidelity Bank PLC. On the 24th of March 2022, Peter Obi declared his intention to run for president of Nigeria under the platform of the People's Democratic Party, but later pulled out and announced that he will be running under the Labour Party platform instead. According to the People's Gazette, Peter Obi wrote to the leadership of People's Democratic Party on 24th of May 2022 to resign his membership. Peter Obi reportedly complained of massive bribing of delegates and vote buying at pres party presidential primary, citing that the existence of a party clinic collaboration against him. Peter Obi, business background and status as a major candidate not, afflict not afflicted with either of the Nigerian two main parties has drawn comparison with Emmanuel Macron's successful 2017 French presidential candidacy and Obi had expressed administration for Macron and was among the officials who received Macron during his visit to Lagos. In the recent general election, younger, de younger generation under 30 proved to be some of the biggest Obi supporters, showing their support via social media and protest and street matches. Aisha Yusuf, a prominent activist noted as the co-founder of the Bring Back Our Girls movement and the NSA supporter of the NSA's campaign, endorsed Peter Obi in her first ever endorsement of a presidential candidate. Young supporters of Obi's campaign have been nicknamed the Obedient. Commentators have argued that Obi's third party candidacy appealed to young voters dissatisfied with the two major parties, which has resulted in the biggest political movement in the recent Nigerian history. With core message of prudence and accountability, Peter Obi managed to gain the backing of voters for his previous previously largely unknown Labour Party into a strong third force against two political overweights. Before campaign was officially kicked off, Peter Obi supporters held a series of one million matches in several Nigerian cities, including Makodi, Calabar, Lafia, Port Harcourt, Afiko, Oweri, Enugu, Auchi, Abuja, Kaduna, Ilori, and Abakaliki. And also in Ibadan, the matches were not part of the official campaign as they were led by volunteers Obi supporters and not Obi in our team or political party. The matches experienced massive turnout. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and I will see you on the next news.